bagel section to get my everything but this. There's no everything but this. I want to play a paladin. <laughs> Welcome adventurers. If you're watching this video, you probably, like me, enjoy the fantasy of paladins across various games. Whether it be in World of Warcraft, The Elder Scrolls, or even Dungeons and Dragons, I'm glad to say that ever since the 5th alpha playtest, it's never been easier to achieve this role in Dark and Darker. To start off, we're on the Cleric, and our first order of business is to get tanky. The first perk for this build is Perseverance. Perseverance reduces all types of incoming damage by 3. That might not sound like a lot, but this perk almost completely negates the damage you're going to take from damage over time effects. This includes rogue poisons in PvP. The next perk is actually a new addition to the game, called Holy Aura. Holy Aura increases the armor rating of yourself and all the party members around you for 15, and their magic resistance by 15 as well. This perk allows you to more effectively frontline with your team and passively give them a small benefit to their armor. The next perk I take is protection from evil, though sometimes I swap this out for a different perk, which I'll get into in a minute. Protection from evil reduces the duration of all harmful effects on your character by 50%. This includes spells like weak point attack on the rogue and the silence from goblin shamans in the goblin caves. This also reduces the duration of poison effects, effectively reducing their damage in half. If you stack that with Perseverance, you're almost completely negating the damage. Next up, the classic, Brewmaster. This just allows you to drink ale and not get super wasted. A Barbarian will start with 30 points in strength. If you, on a Cleric, drink ale, say the... 9 strength ale, you're going to go all the way up to 23 strength. And if you want to spend the big cash, you can go up to uh, 25 with the 11 strength ale. So that's bringing you pretty close to the barbarian stat line. That's not even including gear. The only difference is you can wear heavy armor. If you want more damage with this build, you can swap out protection from evil or holy aura for blunt weapon mastery. With Alpha Playtest 5 came a new active skill that the Cleric can use named Divine Protection. This really is the bread and butter of this build. When you use Divine Protection, you receive the Blessing of the Divine and increase your physical damage defense by 30% for 4 seconds. If some cowardly rogue starts backstabbing you, you can instantly pop this and you'll have a fighting chance turning around and having the health pool to fight them. Next up. We have the damage skills. This would either be Smite or Judgment. I use Smite mainly this playtest because my friends are on East Coast and I'm on West Coast. Judgment is a little finicky to use already and with the added lag it just makes it really frustrating to land. But if you have good ping and you're not really having trouble targeting people with it, I think Judgment might come out on top here. Put on a Hound Skull and some Templar Armor or the Regal Gambeson for that Sacred Drip. I used the Warhammer mainly for this build, but the Morning Star and Heater Shield or Round Shield is another great option. That pretty much sums up the build, so thank you guys for watching. And I'm curious, what do you guys think will change in the next playtest? I think this playtest was pretty successful, aside from all the server issues, but getting a whole new map, tons of changes for pretty much every class, I'm pretty happy overall with this playtest and hopeful for the next.
See you guys in the next one.